Overnight, we added nearly 15,000 cases. Governors are being removed. Doctors are going missing. It doesn't look like this is slowing down at all. But it doesn't look like it's slowing down. And uh, like Jim, I'm not a vir virologist. I don't even know the right word. Virologist. But you play one on TV. I will play. I play a lot of things on TV. But I think the important part here is the supply chain. I think the important part is the shutdown and quarantine of 50 million people in China. The important part is that Ford and GM can't get parts right now. Apple can't get parts. International paper is having supply chain issues. Airlines have shut down. We're going to see a reduction in cruise line earnings and so forth, hotels. So this is already putting a damper. The longer it lasts, I think that this could uh, pose a longer term a recession risk, even here in the U.S. The second largest economy in the world doesn't slow down without recession? the rest of us feeling it. Recession? Yeah, I think it so. I more think than it just, create, a, more yes, than just a, a one quarter slowdown. You're really going to go with a recession? If we go into May, yes. If we go into May, okay. Carrie is SMBH. Into May. I mean, we're, talk yeah. we're talking about May no, now, not March. No. I, I, I no. don't think so. Why I, I, not? Well, first of all, this step up in the number of cases does not change the trajectory. They just weren't counting these people. They have a new methodology. So if you look at the number of cases, yes, these people were infected before. Now they're in the numbers. And the percent of people who are dying has gone down, right? The mortality rate is lower than that it was. We, that we know of. I okay. Mean, the U.S. government Correct. saying just moments ago, it does not have much faith in anything they're hearing out of China. From wow, that's okay, a shock. Okay, but you can say that about <laughs> anything. We can say that about the growth rate or the number of people in China. But the, the truth is, what we're seeing in the United States is there aren't any cases in the United States. In New York, for example, there's not been a case, and people are reacting and you know, not going to Chinese restaurants. They're, not, they're overreacting. But this happens whenever you have a panic of any type. And the market is saying every time there's a little drop in the futures, they come in and buy. Look at this morning. The market looked like it was going to be down 250 on the Dow if you were up at, you know, 6 a.m. And, and we've got a flat market way, here.